Welcome back to the Lions Grand Nationals presented by Echo Outdoor Power Tools. Well, what's happened here is very simply, Roger Simon found the right groove on the track to put him into the lead with a 300-foot full pull. Now, Greer Hamilton out of Lancaster, California in a 1988 Chevrolet Corvette body Ford power plant, 650 cubic inches, Allen Root Boss Ford motor underneath that Chevy body. We'll see what happens with the man from Lancaster, California right now. He's had some clutch problems in the past couple of weeks, but he hooks it right now. The engine just doesn't sound right. There's something banging in there, but he's going to have to give it a try as he's going to set, get set to get the green flag from Dale Wolf here in Chapel Hill, Tennessee, the 88 Corvette California Blast. distance for Greer Hamilton, 294 feet and three inches. Another good puller out of the great American South. This is Preston Porter in a 1978 Chevy Love. Definitely a very, very tough running competitor right here. Calls it the Fireman's Express because he spends part of his time as a volunteer fireman. Preston Porter has pulled to the Grand National the past couple of years. Lexington, Alabama is where he makes his home. Preston Porter, Fireman's Express, 1978 Chevy Love. Preston Porter. by the Alabama competitor right there, the Fireman's Express, Preston Porter. Next up, this is LD Nation out of Pleasant, Kansas. LD is a Grand National Champion in the year 1989. Well, in 1990, they kept it in the family as his son Brent Nation scored a Grand National Points Championship. They are really trying to make it happen this year. LD's involved in the mining business, but during the summer, he comes Grand National Pulling on the Copenhagen School Grand National Pulling Circuit. As we see where he spots the sled right here, Roger Simon mentioned earlier the fact that everyone's going to have their own little place to put the sled, and here comes LD. Two hundred and ninety nine feet point four two. That's the distance for LD Nation. Not close enough to take over the lead or at least force a pull up with Roger Simon. Wayne Roush out of Dublin, Ohio in his little red truck. Always a battle for Wayne because the little red truck and the yellow tea bucket are always in hard fought contention. Roger Simon, the captain of Simon Says Pulling Team, is the only person out at 300 feet. And we'll see right now if the man from Dublin, Ohio can make it happen. Cut loose right there for Wayne Roush, and everything broke loose as he came back to 250 to 260 feet. He jerked very, very quickly back into the center of the track. And now Wayne Roush with a bump and a jerk right there. Something definitely broke loose, and a tough, tough break for the man from Dublin, Ohio. Brent Nation is up next out of Pleasanton, Kansas, the 1990 NTPA Grand National Champion. We're going to see what happens right here. We saw his father, L.D. Hook, moments ago in almost an identical vehicle. This is a 1928 replica of the T-Bucket. Now, many of these competitors go with the bucket because the weight is so out front. The motor's out front, and they stretch that body a little bit. We'll see if the former Grand National Champ can make it happen right here as he sets the sled a little bit closer to the right sideline, and here he comes. as he takes it right out the end. The 
Grand National, i got to tell you, that's got to feel pretty good. It looked like the track three a little bit at about the 200 and 250 mark. Yeah, I touched the brake there a little bit about, yeah, about 250. Not too hard, but it does want to throw you a little. Well, we'll see what happens in the pull-off. Yep, thank you, dog. Brent Nation, number two in the pull-off. He and Roger Simon, to this point, will come back and have a pull-off, and we'll have it coming up.